Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be kind of like a Find It Friday, but it's on a, right now, today is Monday. So what I'm doing right now is I decided to trace the words, afraid of who, and I'm laying down some gesso. This is the first time I'm using gesso in my Bible, maybe even on my Bible journaling channel. I usually don't care to use gesso too much, but it's okay. It's a great page prep, so don't get me wrong. I love it. But I just don't use it a lot because I just think it's tedious sometimes. But it turned out pretty okay. Um, as long as you dry it and you keep pulling and, and, and tugging on the pages, it'll make it a little bit sli uh, straighter and not as warped. But at the top, you'll see in the end, it's still warped a little bit. So my, I don't, I'm not good at lettering at all. I trace these letters. I believe they're from scribbling grace she gave like a freebie of some letters and i just like traced them underneath the page and i did it in pencil and then i put the gesso over it and i'm going to go over it in marker so that the marker does not bleed through so this image i got on google because my husband shared a caption with me and i looked for a google picture that would fit the caption and I'm going to read the caption to you. Um, right now I'm, I'm gluing the caption down and then I'm going to adhere it to the page. I printed this Goliath and David kind of image on my clear sticker paper from onlinelabels.com. Great place to shop if you want to get affordable sticker paper that is good quality, it arrives on time and well, and it's not so expensive. And here's the caption. It says, the giant in front of you is never bigger than the God inside of you. And it made, it made me think of David and Goliath. And this is what David felt. And I wrote up top, afraid of who? Because every time my pastor preaches and he gets to a part where he may deal with fear and why we're so fearful of man and what man can do to us. I can't say it like he first he's a man and then he's a preacher and he's a strong preacher so I can't say it the way he says it but everyone goes like crazy when he says afraid of who afraid of what God is on my side and he always encourages us not to be afraid of what man can do to us and David and Goliath David was this little boy and Di and Goliath was this huge giant that everyone was afraid of I mean his brothers the king, everyone. But because David loved the Lord and he spent time with the Lord, he was offended that this uncircumcised Philistine would defy the armies of God. And that's the attitude that we must have when we are faced with situations in the world from um, attacks from family, attacks from society, attacks because of who we believe in and what we believe. You have to, I have to look at these individuals like who is this uncircumcised Philistine who defies the armies of God that when they come against me, when they come against you, they are coming against God. And Jesus said, if you've done it unto the least of them, my brothers and sisters, you've done it unto me. So before anyone can attack you in word and deed and, and just setting up traps for you, they're doing it to God first. And they don't understand that because they're in darkness. But we must understand. So, beloved, my brothers and my sisters, when you are faced with situations that seem impossible, that seem like they are bigger than you do, I mean, bigger than you are, look to it because the God inside of you is much bigger than the giant that's in front of you. And afraid of who? Afraid of what? The Lord is on your side. The Lord is on my side. And I have to stand on his word and in his power. And in the name of the Lord, David came against Goliath. Not his own strength, not his own ingenuity or anything like that. His confidence was in the Lord and not in himself. So beloved, I just encourage you today, no matter what you're facing, just say, afraid of who? Afraid of what? The Lord is on my side. God bless you and thank you for watching. And remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. And forgive me, I get passionate when I hear afraid of who or afraid of what, because that just emboldens me to just have my confidence in the Lord. And when I struggle with my fears, I have to remember that. If God is for me, he is so much more than the world against me. So thank you for watching once again, and God bless again. <laughs>
Speak up for those who have no voice, for the justice of all who are dispossessed. Speak up, judge righteously, and defend the cause of the oppressed and needy. I thought this was so fitting for the previous video I did with David and Goliath, how David alone, well, of course, with the power and the strength of the Lord, stood against a huge giant who intimidated a whole nation of people and a king. And it just goes to show you just how much the power of God is with us when we stand up and stand on what is right. And there are times where people who do not there are people who do not have a voice that we have to be a voice for. We have to speak up for. We have to be unafraid of the consequences of retaliation from people because of what we stand for and who we stand for, which is Christ. And just know that if all that who would live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution, but it's okay because he is more than the whole world against us. And the giant in front of us is not bigger than the God that's in us. So greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So stand up for yourself in the name of the Lord and stand up and stand on what is right and defend and protect those who cannot speak for themselves. That is a call for us to do. And I just pray that we will get the courage to do so in those small areas of our lives, in our neighborhoods, in our schools, in our homes, in church, around family members, anything. Stand up and stand on for what is right. And I remember a good friend of mine a long, long time ago. She said, she told her family, why do you have such a problem because I'm doing what's right. Isn't that something how family can have a problem with you for doing what is right? But stand up because God is with you. Thank you for watching. And as you can see, I got these elements from Print, Pray, and Slay Shop. I love giraffes. I mean, I don't walk around with a bunch of giraffes in my homes or a lot of people don't know that I like giraffes, but I really, really do. And when I saw this Bible kit, in her shop I said oh yes and then stand up for what is right you see how tall a giraffe is and how regal and how he just stands above all things it's just it was just a great illustration about standing up for what is right a t as as tall as a giraffe is stand up for what is right and I just thought Kelly like knocked it out of the park I always get cliches wrong I don't even know why I try I think she knocked it out of the ballpark I think I got it right when she did these giraffes because I was like I have to get it stand up for what is right and I just love 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 these giraffes they are so adorable great job Kelly <laughs> so guys try go pick up this uh kit if not just stand up for what is right read the scripture pray about it because that's what I'm going to do and it's unpopular but it's pleasing to God. God bless you and thank you. And even in our personal life, sometimes you're not defending someone else. You stand up for what is right in your own life.